this is Gordon with another do-it-yourself video. This time I'm going to be checking and cleaning the connections on my batteries on my big truck. I'm going to also show how to do a load check on each battery individually. When you have more than one battery together you cannot do a load check on them without separating the cables that hook them together. So before I take it apart, just to show what I like to do when I'm doing something different, this is obviously something pretty routine for me, but I like to take a picture of it with my phone, and then I always have a reference to go back to if I get confused as to what wire goes where, or taking something apart, carburetor that I haven't worked on before, or something like that, I uh, take pictures along the way so that I have something to refer to when I put it back together. First, I'm gonna break loose all of these connections with a, an end wrench. Not a good place to get the camera, so I'm trying to stay out of the way. In my case, I can leave everything hooked up to the middle battery and just disconnect the battery on each end. I have three batteries, some trucks have four. So if I disconnect each battery on each end, then they're disconnected from the middle battery and I can just test the middle battery and leave everything on it. It'll save me, but I still want to clean these connections. So I am going to go ahead and take everything off. I'm going to test this battery in the back first. I'm going to put my clamps on there with the load tester. I'm showing 12 volts, a little more than 12 volts, 12 and a quarter maybe. Truck's been sitting overnight. As long as it's 12 volts or more, we should be okay. 13 is actually better. And now I'm going to hit this switch down here for the load test. And we need to stay in the green zone up here when we put a load on it that simulates a starter. Just hold it on a few seconds and watch the needle see if it's going to fall. A little smoke coming out of the top up there. It gets hot inside when you do that. That battery seems to be holding pretty good. We'll go to the next battery. If the needle falls down quickly, before you think the battery's bad, first make sure you have good contact with your cables. Looks good. Now we'll check the last battery. Looks good. I have all the cables off now. And the batteries are dry. I don't see any moisture on them. So I'm going to use a wire brush to just loosen up all the, the dirt that didn't come off with the air hose. I did blow it with an air hose first. And I'm going to go all the way around and clean all these connections. And just clean the top of the batteries off. Everything crusty and dirt just built up on there. I'm going to go all the way around and do that. And if the batteries were wet, I'll have to do it on another video when I have a wet battery. That's usually acid that's on top of it. And to make sure it's acid, you can just touch it with the tip of your finger and then touch the tip of your tongue. And if it tastes like real strong lemon juice, then it is acid. And then you need to take a, uh, a mixture of baking soda and water. Just a couple, three heaping tablespoons of baking soda and a large drinking glass of water. And you just keep pouring it on the battery until it stops foaming. And, and you clean it with a brush the whole way. And then rinse it off with clean water. We'll do that on another video when I have a dirty battery. 
I'll pause this and clean it up. Come back in a minute. Before I put it back together, I gotta clean all these. This is the, the bottom side of these junction cables that join the batteries together. I have to clean the bottom side of these, all three, on on these, on both of these cables. And clean the this terminal here and this one as an extra bolt. There's, we have that on this cable too. That's for hooking up other cables to it. So all of those need to be nice, clean, and shiny. And then the same thing for these here are my cables to my power inverter inside so that I can plug in a, a microwave or a soldering iron if I have to fix something along the way. Or if just power is out in the house, I can, uh, when the truck is home, I can plug in to the truck and have some lights and a TV. So this is uh, one set of cables to that, and here's the other set. Here's something else I found when I was taking these cables off. This cable's broken right here. It has two ground cables, and this one is the second cable, and it was loose. It's broken. So I'm getting by on one, on one ground cable, but I'm going to replace this one. Probably not today. I'll put this broken cable on the floorboard in the truck to remind me that I need to buy another one. Talking about ground cables, this one is pretty green and brown corroded and on the back side it does look like it's had a hot spot with that pinkish color on there that's kind of typical of uh, having been hot so I'm not going to forget about replacing the other ground cable I'm I am going to do that pretty soon I'm going to clean this cable in now with a wire brush to start with the stuff that's on there pretty heavy I'm going to use a knife to scrape that off I have to keep turning around and looking behind me. I've got the monitor for the camera behind me on a table. There's no way I can see that little tiny screen on the camera out in this bright sunlight, especially in this position I'm working in. And now a piece of black sandpaper. I don't know what grit this is. I think it's 240. too fine it'll just take forever and it won't get done if it's too coarse it'll leave deeper scratches but I think 240 all the way to maybe down to 120 maybe it's probably okay wouldn't go any coarser than 120 wouldn't go much finer than 240 that looks good. I have to repeat the same process on every cable in here. These small wires too. Carefully with the small ones. I got the batteries all back together and I'm going to spray some of this. It's hard to get a picture of it without a reflection. This uh, battery protector and sealer. I'm going to put this on after all the connections are tight.
and I'm ready to put the cover on. The batteries are done. 